Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 29, Homework. Number 1. Use your ruler, protractor, and set square to help you give as many names as possible for each figure below. Then explain your reasoning for how you named each figure. So we need to give as many names as possible for each figure and then tell why we gave those names. A. So I noticed that um, these two sides are parallel but the other two sides are not parallel. It has two 90 degree angles. Um, so we it has four sides, so we can call it a quadrilateral. And I'll say that's because it's four sides. And then it has at least one pair of parallel sides, so I can call it a trapezoid. Uh, we can't call it a square, it doesn't have 490 degree angles. We can't call it a rectangle, because it doesn't have 490 degree angles. Um, so that's, that's about it. It's not a parallelogram, because it only has one pair of parallel sides. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is also a quadrilateral, because it has four sides. None of the sides are parallel. So it can't be a parallelogram or a trapezoid, which means it's also not a square or a rectangle or a rhombus. Um, let's see, for it to cut, be a kite, the adjacent sides, the sides that are next to each other, like this side and this side, would have to be the same length, and they're not. So I think the only thing we can really call this is a quadrilateral. Okay, C, so again, it has four sides, so we'll call it a quadrilateral. It has four sides. We can call it, let's see, it has at least one par parallel side, so we can call it a trapezoid. And it also has another pair of side, parallel sides. These two right here, so we can call it a parallelogram. And I think that's about it. It's not a square or a rectangle because it doesn't have 90 degree angles. It's not a kite because the adjacent sides are not the same length, so that's about it. Okay, this next one is all of the above, so it, because it's, it's a quadrilateral, a trapezoid, and a parallelogram, because it has two pairs of parallel sides, four sides, so let's just start with that. And parallelogram. Now, if you measure the sides, they're all the same length. So that makes this a rhombus. We're going to say four equal sides, or you could say congruent if you want to be more technical. And because all four sides are the same length, that means that the adjacent sides are the same length. So we can also call it a kite. And that's all. 
Number two, Mark draws a figure that has the following characteristics, exactly four sides that are each seven centimeters long, two sets of parallel lines, exactly four angles that measure 35 degrees, 145 degrees, 35 degrees, and 145 degrees. Draw and label Mark's figure below. So I've already drawn mine because it can take a little bit to make sure that you get all of these exact measurements. So now I'm going to label it. So it's four sides that are each seven centimeters long. So I'm going to label that seven centimeters, seven centimeters, seven centimeters, and seven centimeters. Now I'm going to label, I'm going to show that I have parallel lines. So these are parallel, and these two are parallel. And then we have 35 degrees, 145 degrees, 145 degrees, and 35 degrees. B. Give as many names of quadrilaterals as possible for Mark's figure. Explain your reasoning for the name of Mark's figure. Okay, well we can start by saying that it has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. And it also has is a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. It is a parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel sides. And it is a let's see, kite because the adjacent sides are congruent. And it is also a rhombus because it has four congruent sides. Okay, C, list the names of Mark's figures in problem 2B in order from least specific to most specific. Explain your thinking. Okay, so this is like thinking back to the quadrilateral hierarchy. So the least specific would be quadrilateral. And then next would be trapezoid. Parallelogram. Then I just had the last two switch rhombus and then kite. So the how we explained our thinking is that we thought through the quadrilateral. Hierarchy.